For years, Cape Canaveral was synonymous with American space dominance. From the Mercury missions to the space shuttle era, it served as the stage for history-defining rocket launches. But for nearly two decades, one launch complex remained silent, Launch Complex 36. Originally used for Atlas rockets during the Cold War, it had long since been decommissioned, until Blue Origin arrived. In 2015, Blue Origin acquired LC-36 and began rebuilding it from scratch. That effort, part of a multi-billion dollar investment in Florida's Space Coast, aimed to support a rocket unlike anything the company had flown before, New Glenn. Towering at 322 feet with a reusable first stage and a 7-meter fairing, New Glenn is Blue Origin's answer to the heavy lift rocket race. And after nearly a decade of delays, its story finally took off. Given New Glenn's importance to Blue Origin's future and the future of U.S. space launch capacity, its flight schedule is under intense scrutiny. So where does the program stand now? And when exactly is the next launch? In this video, we'll explore the latest confirmed information on New Glenn's launch timeline, its readiness, and the road ahead. Make sure to subscribe if you want to stay informed on every major development in the space industry. Blue Origin's journey to orbit with New Glenn has been anything but smooth. Originally announced in 2016 with a target launch in 2020, the program encountered repeated delays. Technical challenges, changes in leadership, and evolving customer requirements pushed the launch date back again and again, from 2020 to 2022, then 2023, and finally to early 2025. But on January 16, 2025, New Glenn's first launch, known as NG-1, finally occurred. The rocket successfully reached orbit, delivering its test payload, a Blue Ring Pathfinder satellite on its maiden flight. This achievement marked a significant milestone for Blue Origin. It validated the vehicle's performance, provided critical flight data, and began the certification process for national security launches. However, not everything went according to plan. While the upper stage completed its mission, the reusable first stage failed to land successfully. Blue Origin later confirmed that the booster was lost on descent. In response, the FAA launched a mandatory post-flight review, which concluded in March 2025 and identified seven corrective actions the company must address before flying again. Despite the setback, Blue Origin immediately began preparing for the second flight, NG-2. The company initially aimed for a late spring 2025 launch. This was especially critical because NG-2 would serve as the second National Security Space Launch Certification Flight, a key requirement for winning more Department of Defense contracts. But as is often the case in aerospace, plans changed. In June 2025, both TechCrunch and Space.com confirmed that NG-2 had been delayed. The updated launch target is now no earlier than August 15, 2025. CEO Dave Limp reiterated this in a social media post, citing ongoing preparations and testing. The revised date aligns with NASA planning documents, which also point to a fourth quarter fiscal year 2025 launch window, between July and September. The August target is conditional. Multiple factors still pose potential risks to the schedule. First, the FAA's corrective actions must be fully implemented and verified. Second, the rocket's next payload, possibly NASA's Escapade Mars mission, needs to be integrated and certified for flight. And finally, weather pad availability and any unexpected anomalies could push the date further into the fall. Escapade was originally scheduled to fly on NG-1, but was pulled in 2023 due to readiness concerns. Now, NASA is evaluating NG-2 as its new ride to Mars, and internal budget documents indicate a launch readiness in quarter four of the fiscal year, adding more weight to the August or September timeframe. Beyond just flying, Blue Origin is under pressure to prove New Glenn's operational reliability. NG-2 must demonstrate successful payload delivery and, critically, achieve a full booster recovery. The booster loss during NG-1 prompted the FAA's intervention, and failure to recover NG-2's booster could delay future flights or limit government certification. 
On the technical side, Blue Origin has laid a solid foundation. The rocket completed several major pre-launch milestones. A static fire campaign in late 2024, a full-duration integrated hot fire test on December 27th, and final launch readiness operations at LC-36. After the NG-1 flight, recovery systems, including the ship Jacqueline, were repositioned for improved performance. The company has also filed FCC documentation scheduling testing and signal usage beginning in July 2025, supporting the late summer launch window. Meanwhile, Blue Origin's broader infrastructure is now fully operational. The company's massive facility and exploration park near Kennedy Space Center handles assembly, mission control, and integration, all within a nine-mile radius. LC-36 has been rebuilt with over $1 billion in investment, supporting simultaneous preparation of multiple rockets. Blue Origin claims it can process up to three new Glenn vehicles at once, an essential capacity for future high-cadence operations. Strategically, Blue Origin is positioning New Glenn as a versatile heavy lift platform in a crowded market. The rocket's lift capacity of 45,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit sits above ULA's Vulcan Centaur, but below SpaceX's Falcon Heavy and far below Starship. However, New Glenn's edge lies in its 7-meter payload fairing and the reusability of its first stage, designed for at least 25 missions. The market potential is significant. Blue Origin has secured major commercial contracts, most notably with Amazon's Project Kuiper, which has booked up to 27 launches. Additional clients include Utelsat, Telesat, and several Japanese satellite providers. On the government side, Blue Origin has been cleared for NASA science missions and awarded a U.S. Space Force Phase III contract, giving the rocket a path into the national security market, if it can maintain performance. Financially, the company remains privately funded, primarily through Jeff Bezos. While no public earnings reports are available, Blue Origin has disclosed over $2.5 billion in investments for New Glenn alone. This includes major spending on factories, ground support, and the refurbishment of LC-36. The long-term vision is clear. Make New Glenn a staple of both commercial and government spaceflight. As of now, late August 2025 is the most reliable target for the second launch. Net August 15th is the phrase Blue Origin uses. No earlier than. The date remains tentative and will depend on the successful resolution of technical and regulatory hurdles. But if NG2 flies on time and achieves booster recovery, it could trigger a new phase of operational readiness for Blue Origin. Ultimately, New Glenn's second flight is more than just a follow-up. It's a litmus test for the vehicle's future. A successful NG-2 would not only validate design corrections from the first mission, but also reinforce Blue Origin's credibility in a market dominated by SpaceX. Conversely, another high-profile failure could delay military certification, rattle customers, and threaten upcoming manifest commitments. New Glenn has taken nearly a decade to get off the ground. Now, its real challenge begins. Flying reliably, frequently, and with full mission success. With one launch complete and the next on the horizon, all eyes are now on August. If New Glenn manages to deliver its payload and recover the booster, it could finally shift Blue Origin from a company with potential into one with performance. And if it doesn't, the long shadow of competitors like Falcon Heavy and Starship will only grow. Either way, the outcome of NG2 will set the course for Blue Origin's future in orbital launch. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.